But two days later, evacuation orders for residents were officially lifted, both in East Palestine and over the border in Pennsylvania. That was last week. In the subsequent days, a lot of people have wondered out loud, was it really a wise decision to light thousands of gallons of vinyl chloride on fire, releasing a World War I-era bioweapon into the air over a populated area? Was that a good call? And was it really safe two days later for people to go back to their homes? And if it was safe, how do we know that? Is anyone in charge actually monitoring with any accuracy the level of deadly chemicals in the air, ground, and water in and around East Palestine? Well, no, apparently nobody is. And that's highly upsetting when you think about it. Talk about a failure at all levels. The first duty of government is to protect its citizens. So it's bad. And it's very bad news for reckless politicians like Josh Shapiro and Mike DeWine, who may have helped make this disaster much worse. So tonight, both DeWine and Shapiro are desperately trying to revise their previous statements about the so-called controlled burn. Both have now decided that the toxic mushroom cloud over East Palestine, the one they signed off on and endorsed on television, was actually a bad thing. It didn't go as planned. It wasn't perfect. And both governors have now identified the villain here, not as themselves, no, of course not, but as the railroad, Norfolk Southern. Both are considering lawsuits against the company. In an act of amazingly brazen butt covering, Josh Shapiro even wrote a letter to the White House and the Transportation Department claiming that Norfolk Southern was, quote, unwilling to explore or articulate alternative courses of action to their proposed vent and burn. It was very obvious, he says, that there was probably a, quote, safer all overall approach for first responders, residents and the environment. That was very obvious. He just never said anything about it. It's remarkable. And for the record, we are not defending Norfolk Southern here. We're only pointing out that Norfolk Southern had the strong endorsement of Josh Shapiro and Mike DeWine when it set those chemicals on fire and caused the mushroom cloud. And by the way, the Biden administration endorsed it, too. According to Pete Buttigieg, Biden officials were on the scene. Yet somehow they never said a word about the mushroom cloud until pictures of it evoked outrage on social media. And of course they didn't. They didn't even notice. It had nothing to do with equity or climate change. East Palestine is a poor white town that voted for Trump. So honestly, who cares?